Hi there and welcome back to Bevel Toyota. I'm Bronwyn and in today's video I will be showing you how to explore the many options and become more comfortable with your multi-information display screen located on the dash in front of your steering wheel. Let's get started. I'm sitting in a 2020 RAV4 XLE so please note that some options or menus may look different or not be available depending on your model and trim line of Toyota. Firstly, this is the screen we are going to be looking at. To operate the menus, you will use the four-way arrow controls on your steering wheel. The OK button is used to select an option, and you may also use the back button to get out of submenus or props. Right now I am on the home screen. This screen should look familiar as it provides the information that most people want to see, including the outside temperature, the time, digital speedometer, distance to empty, and the odometer or trip meter at the bottom of the screen. To change the trip meter, you can click through trip A, trip B, and total odometer read using the black button on the front dash. Depending on the vehicle, you may have an odometer button located to the left or right of your steering wheel instead. To clear any of the trips, just click and hold the black button or the odometer button. On this vehicle, you rotate through the menus horizontally using the left and right arrows. On other vehicles like Highlanders, the menus are rotated through vertically using the up and down arrows. When you click on the arrows, you'll see all of the menu options flash at the top. You may also notice the three little dots form on the right side of the screen. When you see these dots, it means that there are a few other screens within this menu option. So we're going to start and press the down arrow to see more information on this first menu. We now see that it shows the distance to empty and the total average fuel economy. On this screen at the bottom, it also gives the instruction to click and hold OK to reset the fuel economy data. And that was the OK button located in the middle of all four arrows right there. If we click down one more time, we'll get to the third option on this menu. This screen shows the distance to empty and the eco indicator, which provides information about your efficiency in regards to fuel economy. If we click down once more, we are now back to the home screen, which is the first screen we were on. Now, we're going to use the right arrow to rotate to the second menu screen. We're moving horizontally, so let's click the right arrow. Right now, I have the cruise control and lane tracing assist off, so this screen can be considered irrelevant at this point. However, if I turn on my lane tracing assist, this menu will show a bigger screen version of the lines that appear on the road. These line icons will go opaque white when the vehicle detects lines on the road and will flash orange if you stray over the lane. So this menu is really catered to those who want to see an up close bigger screen version of that lane departure alert as they are driving. If we click right again, we are now on the third menu. Notice the two bubbles on the right side of the screen indicating there is another screen below the one we're on. This menu gives us information on the current trip of the vehicle, including the distance we have traveled and the total time the vehicle has been running for this current trip. This information will also flash on your screen when you turn off your vehicle. If we click the down arrow, the screen will now display the transfer of power to the wheels as you're driving. Again, this is all information that's accessible to you at any time, but you can choose which information you would like to have kept on your screen by simply operating the arrows until you find a menu you'd like. So we're going to click right again to get to our fourth menu option. This is our settings menu, which is where you can see your Toyota Safety Sense safety features. You can turn them on or off, make adjustments if applicable as well. LTA is your lane tracing assist, PCS is your pre-collision system, BSM is the blind spot monitor, and RCTA is the rear cross traffic alert. The LTA does not have an on switch as you turn it on by using the button on your steering wheel. You'll notice at the bottom of this screen there are instructions. If you click OK, which is again the button between all the arrows, you can turn the feature on or off. If you hold OK, you will go into a detailed setting menu where you can make specific adjustments to the safety feature. And these are the instructions right at the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hold down the OK button on the PCS option so you can see that it will bring up a sensitivity adjustment. So that's the only adjustment we have available for the PCS. 
You can change these settings by clicking OK until you get to the desired setting. For instance, if you wanted your pre-collision system a little bit more sensitive, you would just keep hitting OK until you got to the three bars. To get out of a submenu, you just want to click the back button, and now we're back to where we were. Also included at the bottom of this settings menu is vehicle settings where you can make specific adjustments to the stop start engine feature if applicable, maintenance reminder, and the power lift gate. And let's now click the back button to get us back to our original settings screen. Now we can also see that there's a scroll bar to the right of the screen indicating that there are still options as we scroll down. The last option is meter settings. When we click and hold OK to open these settings, we can adjust settings like language, units, the eco indicator. Um, if you want to turn your whole multi-information display off, you can do that. And again, we will use the back arrow to get out of the settings menu. OK, let's click right again to get to our fifth and in this case, final menu option, which is the notification screen. This screen is used to share messages or notifications from your Toyota vehicle. For example, if you aren't wearing a seatbelt or if you left the lift gate open, um, that notification icon is going to illuminate orange. And even though you'll be alerted for these instances on whatever screen you're looking at, the prompts originally come through the notification screen option. And finally, if we click right again, we are back to our original and main screen. So I use the RAV4 XLE for this demonstration video as it displays the staple menu options that a majority of people will have access to on their Toyota vehicles. Other vehicles may have um, additional menu screens such as the hybrid battery screen if it's a hybrid, an audio screen, or a tire pressure screen. So that's a little bit on how to operate your Toyota's multi-information display. As you can see, there is a lot of options that you can choose from, and hopefully this helps you get a little bit more comfortable on how to navigate those screens. So that's all for now. I'm Bronwyn from Belleville Toyota. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.